calling as human beings. And it's telling us, you, the Jew, you have an animal part to yourself, which is, which must be controlled. Don't mix the ox, which is a kosher animal, with a donkey, which is a non-kosher animal. Control your body. Don't allow your body to be involved in every physical aspect of this world. You cannot mix your holy Jewish body with certain physical elements. And then right away, it tells us the positive commandment of tzitzit. And tzitzit has two parts, white wool and blue wool. And blue wool is supposed to remind us of God, of heaven. And we tie them together, white together with blue. To end, we tie it to our garment. And that is to remind us, wherever we may be, of our concept of God and of our calling as Jewish persons. Wherever we walk, we are reminded through our clothing. We look at our clothing, we say, I'm not wearing wool and linen. I'm not mixing animalistic body with certain things that are forbidden and it's telling us you shall not be an animal you are higher and the positive commandment relating to tzitzit has our own clothing give us a message you shall be a man and a Jew no matter how far away we are from the holy temple, or from the synagogue, or from the yeshiva. No matter what struggles your particular environment may impose upon you, wherever you may dwell, be your own watchman over your observance of the law. Hashem has no policeman, no guards. He trusts us. He gives it over to us, and He helps us to create reminders reminders about God wherever wherever you may dwell bind up your physical sensuality within the powerful bond of the divinely human and Jewishly hallowed an element within you which means <coughs> you take the thread of blue wool that reminds you of God and you tie it to yourself to your physical garment so we have two reminders from tzitzit number one it's blue nowadays we don't have the blue color some people say that they have found it and they do wear techelet and that's good for them so the blue color reminds us of spirituality and then the knot that binds it together and to our garment reminds us to always be connected to God. Number one, there is God, the blue string. And number two, that God is tied to me. I cannot separate. Wherever I go, Hashem is always watching me that is the message of tzitzit and that is the message Hashem wants that we should keep in mind wherever I am I am not only my body I am my soul I live here not to participate in the parties in the pleasures of this world for their own sake I am here to earn Olam Abba. I am here to walk through this world and remember that this world is just facade, superficial, outer, beautiful appearance. But in my mind, I'm focused on the eternity. I'm focused on God. And the beginning of the Parsha, reminding us of 
the constant battle that we participate in every moment of our life and the end of the Parsha reminding us of Tzitzit and the very end of Parsha reminding us of the challenge of Amalek that he is constantly lurking to stumble us to keep in mind that in all our interactions with people or even my personal time alone I am fighting a battle and I have to look at my tzitzit or for women they say that it is the modest, modest clothing that reminds us I am a person who is committed to God I am a person who recognizes God. I am the person whom love, of whom God loves, as it says in this week's parsha. Ki I have Hashem elokecha, because Hashem loves you. And through that, bezat Hashem, we should stay on the straight course, on a safe path. We should always make the right decision. Hashem should always be next to us. We should feel His presence and His guiding hand. And we should be successful in winning all the wars. Hashem should deliver all our enemies into our hands. And Bezat Hashem, we should merit beautiful eternal world. Thank you for listening. Shabbat Shalom Umevorach.